I was born into a family, um, a well-to-do family, and um, my dad was um, a religious Christian. Uh, my mom was a Muslim, and um, so we're not really being brought up in any God-fearing way, and we're just living our lives. Um, but I've always had this feeling that there is a God. I just had it within me. By the time I was, I was 11 years old, I was introduced to smoking, and I started smoking. And um, from there, um, I graduated from smoking, testing smoking, one stick to one pack, two packs. And by the time I was getting to my final years in secondary school, I was already addicted to smoking. I was smoking almost every time in school, everywhere. And um, not too long, of course, I, I, I got introduced to womanizing, time spending time with girls, introduced to sex and all that. And by the time I got to the university, I was already, it was already magnified by then. I joined, joined the court, um, I started living a very dangerous life. I rose through the ranks and um, my, I became a very marked person. Some of my colleagues get, um, some of them end up dying, some are arrested. And somehow God just kept me through all this time. And I still didn't realize that he has a plan and he has a purpose for my life. And I thought I reached a point where God could not redeem me. Um, I, I mean, so giving my life to Christ wasn't an option for me. I just thought that I should end up my life. I considered many options of how to end it, and I, um, I settled for jumping into the river so that I, now I can't swim, so I could get drowned. Um, but as God will have it, a couple of days before I could uh, make that move, on the day I, I, I prepared to do it, um, a gentleman which is a neighbor came to talk to me about Christ and share the word of God with me and this time I don't know what happened uh, but I, I felt God speaking directly to me. I started crying and I left, um, I didn't give my life to Christ then uh, but I left and went to my room and I started crying some more and, and God was speaking directly to me right now and telling me that well he can still redeem me, I still have a chance, it doesn't matter how far I have gone, what I have done, but gonna be so good. Um, I cried, I cried, and then um, he asked me to just go to a church. I remember I ran from my room, and I just ran. There wasn't service in the church. I just ran there, knelt at the altar, and started crying to him for help. And he heard me, he saved me that day, and my life has never remained the same since then.